So before we get into today's video, I wanna let you know I do have some extra smartphones to give away. I have four of the new Oppo Reno 5 Pro 5G, but you need to watch the entire video to be eligible to win more details at the end. All right, so today we've got the Oppo Reno 5 Pro brand new, just released, the latest from Oppo, and it has some cool features that I think you're gonna like. It's got something going on that I haven't really quite seen before. This one over here is called Astral Blue, and then this one is Galactic Silver. It's kind of like a chameleon effect where it will kind of reflect whatever the surroundings are color-wise like a mirror sort of. Maybe we should do the blue one first. It features SuperVoop 65 watt recharge, which can give you 70% of your battery in 15 minutes. All right, inside the package, you're going to receive a carrying case to get you started. That's just a clear style carrying case. It's got a really aggressive screen to body ratio and this super slim design. It is 5G capable. It is the Dimensity 1000 Plus. Really satisfying texture on the back. And I think actually at this moment in the video, Jack can show you a microscopic image of what this texture actually looks like at a majorly zoomed in level, it comes off as matte. So it's not going to be a fingerprint magnet at all. In fact, it's hard to make fingerprints show up. You can see your type C connector down on the bottom. That's also where your SIM tray is. And there's a speaker there. You have your volume up and down on the left-hand side of the device. And then your power switch designed for Reno, 64 megapixel AI quad cam. So one, two, three larger units, and then a smaller one down below, as well as your flash down there too. Woo! Front of the device, you have this tiny little hole punch style front facing camera. It's in the corner, out of the way. This is your Super Voop power brick. That's the thing that's capable of a 65 watt charge, four hours of video playback in a five minute charge, something like that. The headset with microphone, I gotta get inside here to do the comparison. This should be quick. Whoa, yes, that is wild. What is going on here? I've never seen anything like this. It is actually every single color in the rainbow depending on the angle. That's tremendous. Yeah, it does. Look, if I reflect my shirt, it's basically gray. If I reflect my hand, it goes pink. It's like a mirror. Ooh, this is really strange. Does that work for you, Jack? Can you see what's going on there? So this has some sort of mirror characteristic to it in order to create this effect, illustrating the opposite color in the reflection. This is the color changing smartphone right here. That is cool. See that? It's reflective. So if I bring the blue phone, now this becomes the same color. It takes on the color of whatever it's reflecting. Look at us getting all fired up about a mirror here. That's an FHD plus display and you can see the screen to body ratio. Let me boot into the camera real quick. All right, so this is where you're gonna find some of these AI features. You see the AI portion here. I can click on it, attempt to determine, for example, if it's looking at a bright scene, then it will turn on the HDR mode in order to maintain those highlights, keep them in the frame. But if it's a dark frame, then it will enable that highlight video functionality for a night mode effect even within video. So it's got these uh, portrait modes, neon portrait and color portrait. I'm gonna try the color portrait here. Oh, look at that. There you go, it goes black and white. Whoa, that's crazy. You can see that I am the only color highlighted. This is a green plant, but obviously it's been turned to black and white. This can be effective in environments where you have a lot of noise, like a lot of stuff going on, and you wanna zero somebody's focus onto one element of the photo, just a straight up natural selfie. I'm kind of curious. Wow. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a while. Beard hair test, it uh, holds up. Oh, Jack, you see that? This is, uh, that's my Batman look right there. That's my Christian Bale, Moody. Who, who, who watched George Clooney Batman? Maybe I should go check it out. I think I skipped over it and who knows what I'm missing. And there's some other cool video stuff like some high frame rate mode. So it goes up to 960 FPS and 720p for slow motion, 1080p 480 FPS or 960 FPS at 720p. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so here's your features and more. You of course have a pro mode 
in expert mode if you want control over certain camera elements. They've also got the dual view video and extra HD. Extra HD is gonna take a super high resolution photo that you can crop into. You have more flexibility for crop at a later point. I believe it's actually 108 megapixels. Let me load the dual view video. So the way this works, you can probably see that there, is a couple of different ways in which you can use this. Switch it to a rectangle up in the top section there. So you've got my reaction and then whatever it is I'm looking at. And there's also a split mode, which I kind of like, in which I can just record a little clip here. So, so I could just be like this. Maybe it's a sporting event. And maybe Jack is, we're wearing exactly the same thing, by the way, with the gray sweatshirt and the dark pants and the dark hat, right? So why not three, five X all the way up. There's that's Jack. Anyway, okay, give me a color on the ceiling. Give me some sort of a color, but dimmer. I'm gonna attempt their night flare thing. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt it. See if you can nail it. Neon portrait. Neon portrait. <laughs> I, I think I just went from uh, Christian Bale to Zoolander right there. I, I do wanna mention the weight because they make a deal of it. It's 173 grams. It does feel very light for a phone of this scale. It's a 6.5 inch AMOLED display on here, yet the thing, the phone feels so much smaller than the thickness is 7.6 millimeters. So there's been a tremendous focus on taking a big phone, 6.5 inch phone, and not making it feel big. This does not feel big at all. You also do have a high refresh rate on the display. I don't know if it's enabled out of the, yeah, it's definitely enabled out the box, which is good. There is a dark mode. Actually, there's quite a variety of dark modes in here. Like, check this out. Enhanced, medium, gentle, depending how dark you're capable of going. Whoa! And Jack just boosted in there with, and that applies to third-party apps as well. Yes, it definitely does. Oh, Super VOOC. I need to show the Super VOOC. This is always very exciting to me, and uh, I can't possibly miss it. This is one of my favorite parts. Whenever I'm interacting with an Oppo device, the Super VOOC animation never gets old. Prepare yourself. Yes! You see how the power, the juice is coming in from below? You can watch it go up in real time even though we're already at 84%. Super VOOC. There's something about this particular animation is by far my favorite charging animation that's out there. Look at it go, Jack, look at it go! Oppo has exceeded for a really long time, delivering tremendous charge speeds even at lower price points, even at more value-oriented smartphones. So there you have it. That is the Oppo Reno 5 Pro unboxed here on the channel. And remember, as I said at the beginning of the video, you have a chance to win one of four of these devices. All you need to do, and this is the reason I told you to watch the entire video, all you need to do is head over to Twitter and tweet to me which superhero I referenced in this video for your chance to win. Head over to Twitter, tweet at Unbox Therapy with the name of the superhero that I referenced in this video. I will randomly pick four people to win an Oppo Reno 5 Pro. Good luck.